Welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky, second chapter where last episode we touched down Esmolus Tower to investigate the situation, finding the tower changed into some kind of altered space. We explored it, finding corrupted data logs within as we now strive to reach the top where the phantom thief Blue Blank awaits. Yeah. The purpose of the is to prevent any contact between the something archaism archaism and humanity, less ensuring humanity's continuation, I imagine. I feel the need to clarify the Oriole itself does not something channel or does not like want want to cause want to something or harm humans. The that, that if it was your fault alone, was our fault alone. Do not something the mercy of our great goddess in something gift the blah blah blah. Such a good blah. <laughs> not really getting more of this. You can read large chunks of it though, can't you? This is four of four. Whoops. To provide an example, the something facilitated the blah 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 creation of something virtual realities intended to induce something in something. It even altered brain chemistry to achieve this. It was no different than tearing a painful or something. Something Rick stimulant taking oh taking a powerful something stimulant and undergoing something at the time I don't know worse still their side effects no physical as the least such brains is it have brought humanity's very continued existence into question the effects already begin to tell us of our scissory or t something up. Of any sensory, and we have precise, uh, precious little time left to us. As a result, we feel have overstayed our welcome, or our something. Sealing the terrible, we have uh, should a situation like this ever arise? I predicted should a situation arise. You can read so much of that. I'm trying to read it really fast as well. I'm not trying to like actually clue it out. I'd like to add people insulting my intelligence. I'm trying, but I'm trying to do it as fast as possible. I'm skim reading essentially nothing. Because that's what humans do though, we skim read and that's how generally I do the let's play stuff. You skim read and then you're supposed to fill in like the rest of the stuff in the constructs of the sentence if you want to read live and fast. In truth, the construction and implementation of the structure goes or something goes directly against the will of the people and are something Dedicated ideals or something like that? I don't know. Even uh, uh, our gospel, some believe we should try to. Uh, blah, 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 uh, what, uh, they use the para. Blah, blah, blah. However, once it. See, I'm just gonna. I should just give it. Get the stuff. So I can read it properly. But that's a lot kind of gleam just from what you can see there. Interesting enough, getting these data crystals isn't really helping me as of this moment. So we need to now enter this lower section. Well, look at things. There must be another teleporter over here. Ah! <laughs> Don't get me in there. We want eight divinitions garb, you know. The chest is empty as your soul. Who says my chest is empty? All right, eight, divina eight divinitions garb. Woman only. ADF plus 40 speed, five dex agility. Eastern martial arts garb's adorned with an esoteric symbol. I guess that would be best for you then. ADF doesn't have an ADS boost, speed, dex, agility. Sounds good to me. You're a martial artist, aren't you? Sam, dedicate an entire stream to decipher the message and what they are. I'm being able to read quite a lot. Like. It's interesting to read it in that form, especially when we know we're going to be presented at some point with it in its completed form. That's a new monster! <gasps> here. 
This ends here. Beat it up the still. You somehow don't kill this, I'll be surprised. What? They can survive two hits now? I mean, you have an improved hit rate now, I guess. Hmm. Can you get... Oh, no, you can. Mist that terminates all ambition? When did I get that? I got my anti-ambition mist. May self-destruct in the back as well, by the way. Just realized that factoid. So I may... To use something else. See, here's the problem. We can still use, like, big spells to try and take this guy out, too. we still got specials, so I can still just proc a special if I need to. But as long as, uh, oh, no, may self-destruct! Oops. Joshua, run! Don't worry. Take, take to the face. We can use spells, too, to beat him. Especially if you're Joshua. Oh my god! Zin! Take it! Take the levels! Take it! Joshua's even gaining loads. Well, that's one for Estelle. I think she won't get another one. Chloe's gonna get two. So Chloe's gonna be 70. Estelle's just short. Chloe will be very close to another level. So close. Zin just went again. And guess what? I'm going to let it roll because because of Zin's low level, he's actually caught up. He's level 72. Oh, one shining bomb. And now we don't have to fight any more monsters, really, do we? <laughs> have no fear because 53,000 is finally here. I'll let you know this is the one bit hundred bit cheer. Thank you very much for all clipping works you've done. I'm surprised by how that went. Joshua's even near a level again. Zin's now level 70. How much damage did he do one hit? 1,000 now? Still needs to get her stuff back. Well, now Tita and all that being like level 64. <laughs> kind of low leveled for what's going on now, aren't they? I mean, I was, it was dead no matter what. Maybe I should try to not use an aircraft on them. But I went into one more battle because, of course, Estelle levels up to 72. And learns true hard break. Man, everyone else is quite close to leveling anyway. Oh my god, look at this pit of enemies. Let's take out the one on the top border here. So everyone is way stronger than they were like two seconds ago. Apart from Joshua, who's just kind of still meandering around the same level when you think about it. Oh, we didn't get preempted. Bizarre. This guy's gonna get attack pyro. Oh no! No, you can't do that to Chloe. I mean, you can, but you can. Right. Oh, everyone else is so near leveling as well to 71. It's and it's that's why like partially I'm like interested in finding some more. So this is the right direction. This is where the boss is. This is where Blue Blank resides. However, we need to get the treasure chest too. Sam should do a stream where he watches all 3,000 clips. What the hell, man? All 3,000 Bietje clips. Alright, nothing can see me because of the haze, so let's go off and find ourselves some treasure chests, shall we? An EP charge too? We've already taken everything this chest ever had. Have you come back to gloat? I have indeed. Uh, win 7300 with the others 100 again. Time, space, and mirage. The chest is empty, nothing else will appear. Just what kind of game do you think this is? My favourite. A noble blade. Oh, what? Let me give it to you straight. The chest is empty. Well, we got a sword for Agate, so we don't need to buy him anything now. Insulating tape. Dang, you really like reading these messages, don't you? 
I think we got into the rhythm of doing it, didn't we? Kind of feels bad to not do it from that point. So actually, we have actually got all the treasure chests in the land. By the look of things. So really, we just need to go up and face our boss. With Zin at 8,000 HP. I'd love another Shining Pop. But we also would like some Estelle CP too. You know? No, nope, well, she's going to get some at this rate. I mean, that's enough to cast for morale, for example, even though... Zin would use True Distend anyway. Oh, let's just get Chloe to 71. To be honest, this monster here should be the easiest fortunate. Soul Blur on him on the back. Explosion's quite big, but we should be able to deal. Do you think that'll be near enough for him to explode on me? It doesn't matter either way, because of course we have... Will the uh, attack be able to hit with that bonus? Yeah, cool. There we go. Job done. Self-extruct. Oh, we hit Zin. Oh, well, we've got the rest point up above. Well, that takes care of that. Is that enough? It's not. Ah, oh, free away. At least someone could give me another shining bomb. That'd be great. How lucky was I to get that? Right, we got 200 CP of Estelle at least from all the delays, so that's not too bad. 597! Ah, oh, she's nearly enough damage to, to kill it! But that queues up for Estelle again to get a little bit more. Oh, True Hard Break does any different. Just more power. We're good to go. There we go. Chloe is 71. No new abilities. Do you know what would be nice to get? Oh, actually, no way. It wouldn't. They might scratch that. I was going to say, if she could get like a second special that did damage. But then when I think about it, no, we, we'd still not never use it because I'd be always using my panic special. I'd be saving it for the end of time. I'd never use it for an offensive attack. Right, 72, 75, 70, and 71. We've leveled up a lot while we're in here. So it's time to step forward and face the battle on the blue blanc. What tricks will he have for us? Is this the top of the tower? I believe so. Helios preserve us. So this is what they're hiding on the roofs with these dark barriers. Oh, that was sprightly. So you are here, you masked weirdo. Hmm, must we trade insults? I would expect better from the ones who manage to best every one of my challenges. Those challenges are half the reason I don't want to even bother talking to you anymore, you know. Putting that aside, this is something of an event, is it not? It has been an age since we last met, after all. Joshua Astray, Black Fang of Olobolos. It has, hasn't it? I'll admit, I was surprised you would support Wiseman's plan. Hmm, well, putting anyone else aside, I'm here out of... Curiosity. This land of Laveau possesses a mysterious sort of dignity, wouldn't you agree? In the people, the land, even the air. I simply wish to discern if this dignity is real. But when faced with disaster, it should shine forth all the greater. I see. In some ways, you're more like Wiseman than I thought, I guess. Hm. One to seek his beauty in all its forms. The good professor's goals are somewhat different. I should think that you, above all others, would understand that. Ah, my darling princess has come as well. May I assume that means you shall accept my adoration? Unfortunately, I fear I cannot live up to your expectations. If I were truly noble, I would not hesitate so. I shall have to give an answer when I return the RCL. I... I dread that moment. Chloe! <laughs> ah, yes, that fear. Oh, shining proof of nobility. Oh, radiant wings which will not deign to touch the disgusting insects crawling in the mud. 
You got ads? Ah! Wah! Bouncing clowns! So archaisms! Now show me! Show me that radiance as it brings light to the shadowed land! He's got ads! Alright, what do we have to face? Balancing clowns at 11,000 HP and arcades are made by the floating factories can obstruct his enemy's actions. We have Blue Black Enforcer X at 17k HP. Dazzles of strange magic tricks to harry his foes into the grave. How do we want to respond here, some would say. Something tells me that if I channel a spell like Clock Down, I will never actually get it off. I have a feeling I'd be right on that. So, we kind of need to go all in to kill one of these, right? That's what I'd imagine would be first. Can I taunt robots? Never worked before. Let's see if they choose to attack Estelle and basically interrupt <laughs> arts. What? You've got ads too? That's weird. What did you drain? CP? Okay. Either we just got two more foes that are 17k HP or there's a trick to it. As in, that's my target, that's the main guy. Maybe if I just do damage to them, I will be safe from other things, he says. Uh, can I do damage to the robots with Earth? Yes, I can. That's going to land on the critical. And I actually got clocked down off. They don't interrupt us. Okay, with that said as well, Death Screen would probably work out quite well for me. I need to start beating up one of these guys. Wait, you missed the ads? Oh, they, they disappear. So essentially, yeah, we perform a thing on them, and then they go down. That's cool. Joshua is also on a critical on his next art. I think I actually want to walk closer to you. Just in case I need to use a hard break. That critical was good damage. <laughs> Alright, so we've got ads again. And he moved a bit. Can you stop doing that? I don't want to be flying in the sky all the time. You seem to hurt a little bit when you do it though. Give me my CP back! I guess I just keep casting AOE arts to chill out everyone else, don't I then? Well, I guess I should probably lay some help to beating up the other one. Oh, that's the ad. Ah, of course. We now have a marker of who's the real blue bug. Because, of course, we have a speed up down on him. <laughs> We've got a tag. We've tagged him. We've electronically tagged the guy. It's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Keep going with the big AOEs, guys. Until the stat down wears off at least. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's why we keep these attacks going, right? That's one down. I mean, I could just... Should I go in on him, or should I work out more with a balancing clown at this point. I feel like we do need to break this thing. I haven't lost much HP at this point. Especially because the extra levels we've been gaining. Alright, another robot down! Ooh. Did I just get muted? 
That's not good for anyone. Okay, you resist the AT delay, does he? Okay. We need Chloe up and running, but she can't do any of that, so this gives us a good chance to tag in with some other stats. Alright, does Death Scream come out before or after? Oh god, it's fast. It's very fast. At this point, I want a spell that's going to come out kind of afterwards, really. I guess we'll use Soul Blur for now. Just in case he uses his stuff again. I guess chasing you down is not going to go too well for me, is it? But now we're hitting him. Uh, no. Don't put Zin in a casket! Die beautifully. I don't want him! <laughs> Zin is still completely fine. Zin cared zero about that. Not a single jot was given that day. You know what, in the meantime as well, I'm just gonna break him. Thinking with those buffs that we had on there, we could probably do some significant damage just off one more hit was in there. Zin is topped up to pretty much full. Blue blanks on a crit. I don't really think we care. Because now it's Stell's on a crit? No, Joshua's on a crit! The criticals just keep changing. I think I'll just soul blur because it's easier that way. Hey, wait, we did zero damage? Oh, never mind. That finished it. What the? What the indeed, Blue That's Black? There. You got treated like your images, your shadows around the place. They did nothing. As it looks like we're going to get another level up. Not quite for Joshua, but for Zin indeed. 71. Blue Black goes down. Whew. More capable than I'd hoped for. Perhaps it is time we get properly serious, but... Hmm? Hey! Everything's returning normal! Thank goodness! It seems my role has come to an end for now. Nothing forward then. I suppose I shall withdraw. What? Hold on, you! Wait, please! <laughs> I expected of the princess, but your braces also shine with certain nobility. When next we meet, I shall take the full measure of your radiance. Well done, everyone. Adieu! And there was me thinking we squared up to an enforcer, and he seems completely fine. Darn it, he got away after all. So this is the beta then, the final gospel made by the society. It's even larger than the other new models. I'm glad the tower's back to normal and all, but what was he trying to do with this thing? The machinery that was operating it until now has stopped. It's unsettling. And that barrier that was covering the tower's crown until a moment ago. What was that, I wonder? Regardless, the tower has been returned to normal. We should return to the RCL for now. Yeah, we should discuss this with Professor Russell.
I see, I see. Sounds if quite a lot happened. Anyway, Professor, we thought you should have the beta. Oh, also, we found this in the tower. Estelle handed over the crystal she found. Oh, this is a memory crystal. The ancient noble cultures use these to store information. The information inside it seemed damaged somehow. Is there a way to restore it? Damaged, hmm? The crystal itself seems to be circuit imprinted septium, just like a normal quartz crystal. It may take a while, but I'm reasonably sure I can make the capel read it. Could you do that, then? Of course, leave it to me. So beyond that, whatever it is in front of the tower doors is something you're calling the Shadow Tower. Hmm, I should have gone myself. Um, Grandpa! We've been calling it Shadow, but I think it might actually be the actual form of the towers. That is, as the components of the second seal on the Oriol. I kind of wanted to be relieved that it's all back to normal, but yeah. What's got me really worried is that they got the machines at the top working, now they've stopped again. Ah, uh, true. One way or another, we can't leave the society to do what it wants. We have to get to the next tower as soon as we can. Julia, do we have any information on the towers? We did just get an update from the scout squad sent toward Carnelia Tower. They reported a man wearing a black suit and sunglasses entering the tower. Him. That must be Walter the Direwolf. Walter, hmm? Finally, a chance to meet him head on. Sin. Still, Joshua, I saw you in post, but I'm coming with you into Carnelia Tower. Well, I was expecting to raise him up getting ready for stuff, but I've raised him way high level. <laughs> Here they come. Howitzers, loan a name. Fire! Cease fire! All squads forward! Do not let a single one of these things into the city! For the Queen! For the Bell! For the Bell! I'll stay back here. Safe here. I see. I believe I understand the situation. The army's attachment has already begun its defensive plan here. They were entirely prepared for this, so I do not believe guild support will be necessary. You're heading for Carnelia Tower next. Very good. I wish you the best. Good luck. As bad at hiding things as ever, I see. Six years and you still haven't changed at all. Well then, it appears I have some work to do in that case. Oh. So we move from Esmalas over to Carnelia. We've arrived in the area around Carnelia Tower. The tower's peak is still shrouded by that strange barrier. Just like the Esmalas Tower. It's quite likely that the inside of the tower will be strange again. Hey, sorry mate, wait. Oh, Zin! What was Kilika contacting us about? She wanted to know how things were up here. I told her about everything that happened at Esmalas Tower. Oh, okay. I'm guessing you didn't mention our suspect for this tower. Well, anyway, shall we hurry and get inside? Please form your party. You may choose one other member aside from the mandatory members. Oh, that makes it really complicated. Right, I want to take Kevin, because of course Chloe's got set to 71 at this point, so I want to take someone else. But I take Chloe for now, so I can take a couple of things from her, isn't it? So we need to take the yin yang. And... The mind four, is it? Fink. Right, there's no one in here I can switch members with, though. And then I need to take the uh, the equipment as well. Yeah. Take the buzzer, the fair brooch. Good, good, good. Life is sorted. As Ice Guard is engaged in heavy combat on the outskirts of the city. Never fear, though. Every one of those men has sworn on the honor of the Royal Army to defend the city to their last breath. And the best thing you can do to help now is to investigate the tower as quickly as possible. Well, we will do, but people have moved, so let's talk. So there's some terrible fighting still going on in this ice. If we hear anything new, I'll let you know the second it comes in. 
But this tower's top is engulfed in those weird black barriers too. The professor's looking into it. Still got nothing worthwhile to report though. Getting close would be dangerous. Oh, I agree, I'm keeping our distance. This tower stops and go- oh, okay, saying it again. Seriously, what the heck are those things? No, they're saying different things. The open field around the tower is still odd. We can't get any closer. It's basically a variation on the same subject, though. That wall which surrounds the roof and a strange space within. Hmm. I search like the towers more than they appeared, it seems. Perhaps they have some special function we can't even imagine. So by the sound of it, it's a virtual reality construct out there. The situation in Zeiss sounds hellish. Zeiss Guard has managed to keep it together, though, somehow. I'm sure if the worst happens, there'll be reinforcements from Layston. Ah, Tita's here now. Let's change pie first. Oh, can I come with you? No, sorry. Shall we? I've got to set up Kev. Good old Kev here. He's technically like the second healer. Now, where's the buzzer? And the other one was... What was the other one again? Anti-faked, wasn't it? Okay. I wanted to take Agate, really, because we just got him a new sword. Oh, I guess the Karam armor will be fine, then. Technically, the stuff we've bought might be able to move, be able to be moved on to different characters based on just, ha you know, the fact that we've been changing it for equipment that we've been getting inside places, too. So we don't actually have to buy him new stuff apart from his new weapon. But then we'll probably just get a new weapon, won't we? Is that the way things work at this point? Yin Yang. Mind four. Alright, so he has Tira Tira, Felas, Curia Lacuria. What's the AoE heals at this point? You need the AP cuff too, wouldn't you? Fade four. Actually, what is it I need again for the uh the AoE heals. Latia. I'm missing Mirage. I'm missing Mirage, basically. Yeah. Surely I have, so I'm missing. What am I missing? Not enough water? No, I've definitely got water. So why have I not got Latia? One of each? I'd have thought I'd have had enough for this. Huh? Oh, same line. Ah, the evade four is on the wrong side. Got it. Now I know what's going on. Alright, do I take the defense free? The action free, maybe? I know what's going wrong. But now I have to figure out how to move the stuff around. In a way that's beneficial. I guess it would be moving the defense, if anything, then. Alright, the Evade 4 now gives me Latira Latira. I did lose a little bit of other stuff. Alright, so now what have we got? I've got Latia, Latira, Curia. I don't have Athalas or anything, but we got items for that. 3,000 for eight allies in the area. That's fine. Clock up X, good. Clock down, great. I think we've lost some Earth-based AoE, maybe. But we've got White Gehenna, so we're okay with that. And we still got Joshua with the big ones. So that will work out. Took me a little bit to wrap my head around that, but we got there in the end. You didn't have cast or anything like that. I guess the last thing I want to really change is the EP cut you've got on. Hi, Estelle. Tina, why are you out on the deck? I heard Zeiss had been attacked. I was just wondering if um if everyone was okay. I, I see. They'll be fine, don't worry. Zeiss is located near Layson Fortress and their garrison is exactly small. Kid because of the guild too. So we get involved if things get really serious, I'm sure. That's a good point, actually. Thinking that Killikas there makes me feel better. Haha, <laughs> me too! Yeah, I actually feel a little better now. If we can take control of the towers, the enemy should back off from the cities. Their activities in the cities are likely more, or a little more, than diversion from the towers. In other words, we've got to no time to waste. Zally, we best get going. 
Yes, you're right. See you later, Tina. Okay. Be careful, everyone. I'm just wondering, actually, could I just switch Stell's EP Cup 4? Though I'd lose clock down on it, wouldn't I? If I'm right in saying. Yeah, I'd be better off just moving it straight. I just wish I had, like, enough for everyone in that sense as well. So I didn't have to move these around so much, would be nice. Well, that's nothing more than a pipe dream, I feel. Get in there, Kev. 66 at the moment, but you will level up. It's the others that won't. It's the others that are going to be stuck low level. Alright, Buzzer Feather Brooch, Lily Necklace. Oh, you're wrong. Just realised when I looked at the lean necklace there. I've doubled up. Sleep confused, still mute. Everything, cool. Just realised at the last second. Anyway, give me that EP cut. And that'll give me some new abilities, won't it? Oh yeah, but we still got to upgrade that one, haven't we? Unless I move some stuff around. That's in an actual slot that I can't move, isn't it? Let's go upgrade your slot then, Kevin. I've talked to you already, haven't I? Do you think Chloe's up top, by the way? Of course she is. The Ice Guard is working hard. It looks like the front lines remain unbroken for now. I see. That's a relief. We should hurry our investigation in the tower. The attacks on Zeiss are likely mere diversions. Yes, the tower is definitely their main goal. We should focus our efforts on defeating the enforcers. Right then. I wonder if there's any more nasty S-crafts tricks from our enemies too. Nothing out there. Shouldn't be anyone in here. Okay, Cher is having some alcohol. <laughs> so it's Zin's turn to shine him. Hmm. Now I have no one to drink with. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be glad to join you once I get back. Uh, I know we aren't quite in Super Crisis, oh goddess, we're all going to die mode yet. But Shara, please don't drink too much. We might need you for something after all. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm hardly going to get drunk on just wine. That's not really what I meant. Why do I feel as though we're having two different conversations? Indeed. There's Agate. What with the direwolf, huh? Practically juggle us back in Zeiss. Might be a bit easier with you around, though. Not put too much faith in me. I don't know if I'll be of any help until I meet him in battle. If you want to see, Agat, why not come along? <laughs> Good point. I'll be ready. You need me to just say the word. Right. We will be counting on you. I would say I didn't even need to heal in the last Enforcer battle. From what I've heard, Zeiss is it rough right now. Looks like the fruits of my research are going to be needed pretty soon. I need to really put myself into it. That you shall. I want the table. What a beauty. I'd love to get her a drink, but she's on standby before a mission, it seems. Even a bit of alcohol can impair your judgement. So I'll hold off for now. You do. She's not. Oh. Hello. Ah, uh, everyone. Good timing. Hi, Professor. Do you want us to something? Yes, actually. We found something quite interesting in our analysis of the data crystal. Really? Like what? Well, we verified that ancient augments used quartz or something similar enough at any rate. And with the data from the crystal, we found a way to put those ancient quartz into modern augments. Seriously? Holy crap! <laughs> Remember who you're speaking to. There's only one problem, though. The slots on your augment as designed won't be able to take the course. You'll need to modify the slots further. A level 3 upgrade, if you will. So what you're saying is, we can upgrade our augments even further? Exactly so. I've told Peyton what kind of modifications need to be made, so talk to him when you're ready. And if you find any course like that in the wild, give it a try. Yeah, you bet. We'll definitely make use of that. I'm going to keep puttering around here. Good luck investigating that tower. We can upgrade even more now. I don't have the Sepith. Put an ancient course into an orban. What kind of mammon does it take to do that? The old man sure is gutsy. Alright, that's upgrade. So did the professor tell you about the level 3 upgrades? I'm ready to do them whenever you are. It will massively increase the EP charge your can hold too, so I really recommend doing it. Alright, 
Right. What am I doing? That's not the right thing. Kevin! I need this slot upgraded. Oops, I did it already. I didn't mean to. Alright, we need to upgrade level 3 slots. Who shall I do it on first? Estelle? Josh? We're kind of out of uh, certain things now. Kevin's got a... Is that a normal slot? I don't know anymore. Should we do Kevin first? I mean, he's the caster. I mean, Joshua needs some more AP. Oh, just do Joshua. All right, we have one level three upgrade slot. No others, though, because I'm out of water, Sepith. Ah, good timing. I just got all those data crystals you brought me into Capel. Now we just need to wait for Capel to finish analyzing them. Cool. Do you know how long it will take? Hmm, it would depend greatly on the damage to each crystal. I'd be really be guessing. In the worst case, it could be several day waste. So for now, try to be patient. Hmm? Understood. No point in worrying about it then, I guess. If you find any more crystals, bring them to me. I'll get them sent into Capel and bring begin analyzing them immediately. Oh, he's moving over here now. Hmm, something wrong. Do you have some questions about the data crystal? No, I think I get it. But, um, well, what are you doing going to do while it's deciphering? You seem pretty busy given that you're leaving it all to the Capel. Ah, good eye. I'm putting together a little something based on a fury of mine. To be honest, I found a base for a certain piece of equipment I'm developing. A certain piece of... Hmm. Can we get seeing this again? Well, when you put it like that, I've got to know. I'm sorry, but I can't speak more of it just yet. It's quite possible nothing will come of it, and I'm just a stubborn old fool. But I'll look very forward to getting something new soon, and wish me luck, eh? Meow! I'm working on the court circuit prototypes while Ray and the Professor finish hashing out the theory. It isn't just theory that'll make this work, it'll take engineering skill too. That's why I was called up. I have a lot of experience as a normal electrician. I bet you do. Right, so we can't really make anything more of the other stuff at this point. Ah, now I remember what we need to do. Even though I'll probably get something in there anyway for you, it would be good to go in with a composite gear. So, let's see what I can sell. I'm going to have to sell Elon Bite by the look of it. A Roaring Thunder I should be able to sell too, because Agate's basically waiting to put that weapon on. Sell the Air Shooter. And the Arbalest. That should give me enough, right? And this is, of course, where I find a crossbow in there anyway, and then I'm sad. A composite bow. Oh, cr composite crossbow, anyway. Composite gear. Not that we really want to do physical attacking with you, but we'll take it anyway. Right, job done there. We've upgraded one level three slot, if we even get anything to do with that. Got a little bit of extra space. Let's go. No one's here. And probably no one in here either. We've talked to everyone after all. Our next tower begins. Hey gang, good work so far. Ready to head down to Carnelia Tower? Send on the lift we shall. Right then, just jump on the plate and you'll be off. You gotta level up now, Kev. It's all on you, sir. Bringing in the second glass of water, too. And so we approach to find the same blue door. Just like the Esmolas Tower. So it's gonna connect to that weird place, too. Actually, weird as it is, I think that Shadow Tower is what these things actually are. Yes, I think that's all but certain. And no matter what it is, I doubt our task will be straightforward. Stay alert, everyone. Oh, yeah. Also. Before I forget. There we go. Have that. Don't know what extra that will really give you, but still. You may as well have it, aren't you? you may as well. Right, so that is giving him any new spells. Uh, orbital down, clock down. Uh, nothing bigger than White Gehenna. That's fine though. I think he's got a various amount of abilities, so we will step in and see what we've got. Carnelia Towers Altered Space. Right, 
what else do we have going on here? No monsters, no nothing. A lot of red. A lot of treasure chests! The celestial bomb. You have the chest, realize you already looted it, then angry slam the lid back down. Let's go for the center one. Fire Sepif 300 and Time Sepif, Space Sepif and Mirage Sepif 100. Ah, I see there's a theme to elements in these places too. You return, the pact is sealed, your firstborn child is mine. Yeah. Dual bomb. You find only a bleak empty void. Man approaching bomb. You open the chest to find a message scrawled in blood along the underside of the lid. Whoever took my stuff will pay. Ah. With a firstborn child. EP charge. No, give it back! That was my spleen! Spending salts. I mean, the man in here is gone. And a reviving bomb. There's nothing in this chest, but you look so excited to open it that I didn't have the heart to tell you earlier. My spleen! My poor spleen. My baby spleen! Right, which way am I going then? As there are multiple paths to take, we find ourselves met with a little bit more of a fiery design robot. So I could put stuff on to count that. Water. Fire does nothing. Broken PC. A scout type orbital droid that patrols the Carnelia Tower. Huh. Well, Kevin, are you ready to get in? Because I'm pretty sure everyone else is just eager to go and just punch away. I'm almost surprised that you still get 25 experience from fighting those. Kevin gets 72. That's more surprising. Not done yet. I'm guessing Estelle and Joshua would get a new weapon till the last towers, won't he? Aw, oh, come on, Kev. 67 was but a stone's throw away. As we get an EP charge. Nothing but nothing. Indeed. Right. Oh, this looks a bit more mazy. Especially when you throw in the... These kind of guys, again, may self-destruct. Definitely what we want the most. Let's get a Gehenna on you. Keep you in the circle, because that will kill you. Do we have... We do have a war up. It's not going to do much damage. We'll do what we can, right? That should be enough, right? Actually, I'm not too sure. Let's see how well your art does here. Wait, wasn't it water that attacked for damage? You're just that bad. Oh my god. Good job, Zip. The spell is perfect. I cannot fault you. Best attack I've ever seen. I guess you're only good for punching stuff. No point in weaknesses, right? Can't put you near him though, he'll explode! I need some water second, badly. Not done yet. Oh god. I so wish I didn't use it. It's Kevin levels up and learns chain free. Right, wide aversion chain. There's still a treasure chest to get down here. Now that's a group. Gehenna again, we'll do the job. But that doesn't stop me from trying to get a little bit more extra CP, does it? It's mainly Kevin crew that need it. So I imagine the guy at the back will survive this. for long when you consider the fate as well, though. I should have the EP while walking thing on you. Not done yet. Joshua's still getting two experience for a monster, so he's actually getting something. We actually are going to crawl him up, maybe, to get to 76 during this. But it's all about Kev. I mean, Zin's not far from 72. 
Because we had curry bomb. And nothing in the chest. Nothing! Now shoo shoo! Shoo! I feel like this place is gonna warp us around the same area then a bit. Oh, there's a downwards warp somewhere. It definitely looked like there was still more to explore on that floor. Are we on that floor? I don't even know anymore. Lots of those creepy guys in there. Ah! Ah! Alright, Lakeside Underground Facility, one of four. In order to make the seal mechanism into a reality, we needed both something amounts of energy, or enormous amounts of energy, and massive facilities. We to the something first of using the OEL something. I really shouldn't bother reading them, and we should just let it go. But still, it's so interesting to read it. Surely have the Oriole something automatic, it blah blah blah. Oh, I want to read it now! Why does it take several days? This is like the interesting information dump, and I'm it's being denied me in its in its <laughs> essentiality. I want in its full extent! Give me it all! Give me it all. Oh, Kev's up to 40 CP. And Joshua's using a fair bit of uh, EP to break through. So maybe we should use White Gehenna from Kev. Not done yet. Now, Zin's even getting enough experience still to really push him forward levels. I can't believe that they're even getting enough still. Alright, this is three or four. I'll scroll through it slowly so those on YouTube could just pause it and read it. We'll try to give it a go before we get the thing. Data Crystal 6 has been picked up. Did we start Data Crystal 0, by the way? Oh, we need to go here. It does seem like a virtual reality kind of thing. And the four things that surround the Oriole. Interesting. The last one should be up here then. This is two of four. This is one of the great things about YouTube. If someone puts a message like this on screen, you can always pause it to just read it. It's great. Streams, however, everything keeps on ticking. <laughs> I still, it's literally the main thing in it for me is just to read it. I want to read it. <clears throat> well, we'll get it in time once the translation goes through. Alright, so we came down a ladder step here. But there's still more stuff to go through there. And it looks like the only way you can go in the center ring is via this section over here. Once Capel's finished translating, we'll be able to read them all. Yeah, I thought there'd be some downs. Okay, some chests over here. So I get this guy out the way. Out of my way, sir. I do not want you here. Do not want. Do not need. Let's get some aqua, please, go. Some strong hits. If I move in, he'll get blown up, won't he? Oh well, getting blown up gets your CP. That's what we're going with now. Getting blown up gets your CP. That's all the that matters, right? Bam. And that's your done. All right, was well, this guy up the way? That's that. Point. Should be able to take the chest with relative ease. 
I reckon Cable get out of here like at least level 69 unless we bump into another shining bomb. Final reviving bomb. Did you know this treasure chest is an S rank bracer? Yes, treasure chests have their own bracer guild, and this chest is legendary. He's in there. Again, Bouchel. Ah, he's in. This chest is empty. Not even half empty, just plain entry. Plain empty indeed. Zin, take the Genbu shell. What are we looking at? An extra 15 physical damage. Ancient Gauntlets adorned by Holy Eastern Beast Designs. The Eastern stuff is a motif that's happening in here, isn't it? Quite a bit. The Suzaku Blow! <laughs> Just bought you a bow. There's nothing in the chest, but the air inside is strangely humid. Literally bought you a bow. Just a bit ago, Kevin. And I said we'd just find one in there. An ancient bow adorned by Holy Eastern Beast Designs again. Eastern bit that's interesting now, I feel. Suzaku Bow. That's what happens when you plunge money into something, isn't it? My mirror! My mirror! Ah, well. Those chests there seem to be reachable from another area by the look of it. But not from my current standpoint. We're going down again. Alright, give me the monster chest. You know it's in here. You know this is it. This is the monster chest, right? Yep. Hey, no self-destructing, guys. What an easy life I've been given. Let's just hope these guys don't have like death blows and stuff and run and wreck me. Could happen. True hard break, by the way, hits enemy three point cancel arts and, and collapse impede. I'm just guessing it does a bit more damage, maybe. Well, let's get Stell in there, hoping for some death blows, but it didn't really happen. Will Stell take all these hits now? Nope, Kevis! Because these guys do double attacks and they hurt. Oh, Kev! You need to watch out, this hurts! I mean, you see he's preparing to use arts, is he? Now, we have a white Gehenna. Just wondering if I can get four monsters here before they can move again. Probably not going to cancel the art at this rate, though. I'm a bit worried. We might have to use Kev. No, we don't even have Kev special. Well, that took two. These two arts are going to go in. I had to hit Zin with fire, didn't you? Alright, the White Gehenna will finish off the remaining two, sure. Oh my god, Kev. You're not doing too well here, Kevin. I'm not so sure about your overall safety at this rate. I thought that would do it. Obviously not. Hopefully this still keeps that one robot in the ring, but I'm not sure if it does. But I need to finish off that one. Alright, that'll finish off that one, so if I... Eh, get him in there, Zin. And Kev just manages to live. Even if he didn't, he made it up to a saving grace amount of special that we could have propped. But he's going to level up, so he will be able to heal himself up to full the natural way. 72 for Zin, a Zin learns chain free. And we get loads more fire sepith, a ruby talisman too. Sure it's empty now, but maybe she checked it again. That's nah, something bomb. See a single tear roll down his chest, treasure chest cheek. Wait a second, chest don't have tear ducts. All your statues. Insulate and tape. You lift the chest over your head and shake as hard as you can, but nothing comes out again. Impressive to play this thing once more. You can charge free. As you switch the chest inside, just in case you missed something last time, it gives you a splinter again. We've got two splinters in two dungeons so far. Right, only Estelle is hurt now. Right, so we've got the chest there, but there's still a way up somewhere? Okay. 
least it's a bit more of a straight path currently. Are the chests alive? Well, this is the question. How do chests get items in the first place? Are they like oysters? Where a pearl slowly grows within? Got to think about these things. You can't get close enough. Level 72, you can. Right, do you want to just tear yourself? Critically tear yourself. That's it, I don't think we're going to finish this off. How much extra is that? 50%. We'll take it. So who's nearest to leveling? Estelle is. Very, very close indeed. And technically, Joshua, if he gets two experiences, is only 31 battles away. <laughs> only 31 battles! <laughs> when you stare too long in the chest, the chest stares back at you once more. I think we've read mostly all the messages at the moment, haven't we? More fire sepip with time, space, and mirage separated by 100. The chest is angry at being robbed. It demands you build it a shrubbery! I demand a shrubbery! Excellent! A shrubbery! A shrubbery! Knee! Knee! They are the chests that say knee! That they are. I demand a shrubbery! <laughs> Thank you, Monty Python Chess. Thank you very much. Very cool. First guild, I was a guild master on in World of Warcraft. It was called the Spanish Inquisition. Money Python stuff. English as you get. The chest is as empty as your soul. The second guild I was ever in was called Flying Circus. So there we go. It follows me around. As you crack the little chest, you hear a sound like the collective wailing of editors. You let the lid drop, sealing the sound away forever. Poor wailing editors. You didn't have to wail. Maybe sing a lovely song. A shrubbery is in a bush, is that a joke I'm not getting? It's a very in joke. It's Monty Python Flying Circus, it's a Holy Grail reference. Old English comedy movies. If you can call it. Ah, oh, I got warped down again. If I remember correctly, there's quite a few Monty Python references in trails, weirdly enough. I think generally in gaming there's a lot of Monty Python references, to be fair. Now which way to go? Joshua's like, I'm so close to leveling! Just give me a bit more. Give me, give me, give me. Alright, I think I can cure the white Gehenna with Kev. So he can do the honours of finishing them for once. If I just move, I'll get an extra attack turn just in case. It was a, there, there was a, the room reference, yeah, in East. So, All right, what's next? translators have a thing for pop culture references being fitted into things, don't they? It's a stellar level up. and learns chain three. 